we have Tony Longhurst. He is the first guy to run this morning in Tui's top 10 for 95, the uh, Castrol Falcon. Puts the wheels up on the ripple strip, maximum speed as he comes over the top of the mountain. It's a brave move to use the uh, that amount of real estate there, but he's holding it very firm. Hasn't made any mistakes so far. Let's chase. Just listen to the engine. Fabulous. You've only got to stand beside the fence there and feel that massive wave of air almost push you off your feet. Unbelievable speed through there. Hi everyone, John Bow here. I'm out at Gray's Classic Cars and this is like going back in time. This is a, a proper DF Falcon supercar raced by Tony Monghurst in the day, made from a Ford Motorsport body shell and I used to race against it quite a lot. I can't remember every race, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the real deal. It's a real supercar. As you can see, this is a proper supercar engine. The owner tells us that it's been rebuilt. Everything is all there, but it needs to be prepped for racing if you intend to race it. It's one of the quite a rare breed. EFs didn't last for long. Uh, I won my championship in an EF, so I'm quite fond of them. And Tony was a very tough competitor, so it's. Thing. This takes me back nearly 30 years, 1995. It's, uh, it's like a time warp, to be honest. It was built from factory motorsport body shells, which was instigated during that 94, 95 period. So very few of them around. This was when supercars were made out of real cars. They went down the production line at Ford, delivered to the teams. The team did their own interpretation of what a supercar would be. And this looks very similar to the one I drove for Dick Johnson. So yeah, time warp thing. So if you'd like to keep up with everything that's happening in our classic car and bike department, why don't you join our Facebook page, Gray's Classics Cars and Bikes. And also, if you'd like to keep up to date with the videos we do at Grays on classic cars and bikes, subscribe to our YouTube channel.